Alex, you've got a lot of Haas milling machines in your machine shop as well. The one that jumps out at me here is the VF3 SS. What are the benefits to your business with this model? Um, yeah, well, the VF3 SS was purchased in 2011, and obviously the, the main benefits over one of the standard Haas machines is the fact that it's got a 12,000 RPM spindle um, with 30 horsepower, so um, it enables us to run at higher feed rates and achieve better surface finishes. Also, the tool changer, it's a 24 pocket tool changer, side mount, it's a very quick tool to tool times, only 1.2 seconds. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's been an excellent addition to our workshop. Yeah. So you had the VF2 before. Yep. Was the reason that you then went for the, the 3 because it was a bigger machine for one, and then secondly the SS because you wanted to get parts off the machine quicker? Uh, yeah, exactly, basically. Um, for, the, for the job that we run most of the time on this machine, we, we originally were making it on the VF2, and now basically with the 3 it's enabled us to use a larger blank um, so we can produce more components. We can now have 12 components off in one operation rather than uh, nine, which we were previously doing. Let's pick this up here. If you want to pick this component up yep. here so we can see for the camera. Just tell us, you're doing all, all the, there's a lot of metal removal there. Yeah, um, there's, so there's 12 of these components on one billet. Um, and basically there's, there, there's, there's deep pockets in here uh, which are quite tied up on a tight tolerance, um, 20 microns on the depth. Um, so basically we, we machine all 12 pockets and then the individual parts are profiled and machined out. Um, and then, and then once, once they come off the machine there at this stage, um, we then um, individually cut them out on a bandsaw and then they go onto the VF2 for the second operation. Now I know from looking at the control on the machine, you're actually running at full 12,000 RPM yeah, speed correct, yeah. and also at 10 metres a minute on the milling, correct? Yep. That's correct, yeah, 10 metres a minute um, feed rate with a trochoidal high speed milling tool path. So let's cut to the chase then. The VF2 was machining this previously to you coming on the SS. How yep. much faster are you getting these per part off the machine percentage wise now as a result of the VF3 SS? Um, well it's actually about 16 minutes um, per, per part faster um, which, which we, we recommend is it's about 25% it's about um, increase in productivity. And that productivity comes not just from the spindle speed like you've said it's the fact it's got a faster tool changer, yep. it's also got faster rapids is that correct? That's correct yes 35 meters on the super speed models compared to 25 on the standard models so yeah and that, that helps a lot when you when you've got a meter in the extra travel um, that helps you get around the job very quickly. So it's not just machining centers it's mini mills so let's go and have a quick look at those. Okay. So you've got three mini mills then here, Alex. What do you like about these machines? Um, what we like about them is they're nice and compact um, and they offer us to get many machines in a small area, many spindles in a small area. Um, they're brilliant for producing our smaller components that we make. What are you actually machining? You talk about small parts, but what sort of materials are you tackling? The various different engineering plastics um, and some stainless steel and, and aluminium is, is, a, is a big bulk of our workload, yeah. So we see lots of mini mills in the marketplace. But in your opinion, what's the, what's the fundamental difference between what a vertical machining centre can do and what a mini mill can do for you here at CTPE? Um, well, to be fair, we class them as a full VMC. Um, they, they have full, full capabilities as, as what, what a larger machine would offer just in a compact footprint. Um, so everything's on there, tool changer, rigid tapping, everything. And can, you, can they handle the same programs? If you, if you had a program on the VMC and you, or on the VF2, for example, could you put it onto this machine? Yeah, exactly, yep. Yeah. Um, com completely the same on the Haas Control. It run on all, all vertical machines, and it's including the mini mills. So that works vice versa. So if you started off on here as a prototype part, yep. doing the programming, you could literally take it off of this machine and put it onto the VF2 or VF3? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, we do, we do interchange a lot of the programs and a lot of the programs that were originally written on these machines, when, when we invested in the, the larger VMCs, um, we, we transferred them over and then edited them from there. And they've got a tool changer on these. Is that enough tools for you within that umbrella? Um, yeah, it's a 10 pocket tool changer on the Mini Mill standard. Uh, and for, for most of our small components, that is enough. Um, obviously, the, the investment that we made in the VF2 and the VF3 super speed, um, gave us more tool capacity um, for some of our larger, more complex parts. But these are um, plen plenty suitable for our more smaller components, yeah. And I think it's very evident when we see lots of mini mills around how, how well, if, you, if you've got a smaller machine shop but you want more spindles, they're perfect. Yeah, exactly, yeah, you can fit, you can cram them in if you like and yeah, they're brilliant. Make more parts, make more money. Exactly, yep. Yeah.